Okay, quick. Think of someone hot. The steamiest, hunkiest, smokiest babe that first comes to mind. Got it? We good? Yeah? And while your first thought may have been someone like Henry Cavill, Jensen Ackles, Shrek, I would take a fat guess that not a single one of you thought of Thomas the Damn Tank Engine. At least I really hope not. Because the fanfic I'm going to be so graciously subjecting you to today was written by someone who had a a certain hunkering for a certain hunk of metal, if you know what I mean. <laughs> this person, you can tell, they... Let's just say they have a special place in their heart for trains. So, fasten your seatbelts, because this is going to be one bumpy, greasy train wreck. <laughs> you take a big whiff of the thick night air, your eyes rolling back with the pleasure of the scent. It smells like stale train exhaust and soot your favorite. Standing in shadow at the edge of the empty train station platform, you continue to inhale deep breaths of that enrapturing smell. His smell. You would know it anywhere. And man, does it work you into a tizzy. You lean against the wall, still concealed by dark of night, getting yourself as comfortable as you can. You could wait here all night. And if you need to, you will. Anything to be able to touch the divine facial structure of that beautiful train. You get butterflies in your stomach just thinking about it. Those butterflies begin to flutter and rage at the distant sound of an approaching train. And not just any train. Your train. Your love. The reason for your existence. You would know the sexy squeal of those wheels anywhere. <laughs> you press further against the wall, trying to contain your moan as you watch Thomas the gorgeous tank engine pull into the station for the night. He's finished all his shifts for the day, so that leaves the entire night for just the two of you. You can't wait. You step from the shadows into the dim light of a light post, and although he doesn't see you, you see him. Every detail, his chiseled metallic body, the shine between the rust on his wheels, and the alluring griming grease that you want to lick from his outer walls. And he's all yours. He doesn't seem to know you're here yet and the idea of catching him by surprise excites you. A little too much, if you know what I mean. You can't wait to see his face, to press your lips against his and become one with his grease. You trail your fingers against his coarse metal as you make your way up the front, planting kisses every few steps and finding it harder to unattach your lips each time. He just tastes so good, too good. He's a filthy, delicious, naughty boy, and he needs to be punished. <laughs> you tear off your shirt as you reach his front, ready to consume his beautiful lips, but find nothing more than the typical structure of a leading train car. Wait a minute. You take a step back, your hand over your mouth in horror. <laughs> now that you really inspect it, you notice that the grimy exterior of this train is a light gray. Not the typical sky-blue hue of your love. This isn't Thomas. You knew something didn't feel right. His grease tasted different, cold and unloving. <laughs> Just then, you take notice of the train parked further away in the darkness, the one that's been parked to the side for a few hours now. With shock, you realize it's Thomas. You're hoping he's been asleep, that he didn't see a thing, but then his front light shines and his engine turns on and he races out of the train station, his tears leaving wet splashes on the tracks behind him. Oh no, this was a mistake. You never meant for this to happen. It was a stupid misunderstanding. But how can you ever get Thomas to believe he didn't just cheat with another train? I swear, this thing is full of tongue twisters. <laughs> I'm sorry. You start crying, your tears leaving lines through the filth on your face. <laughs> Some other train's filth, not Thomas's. It's disgusting. It makes you feel sick. <laughs> So you curl yourself up in a ball and cry for hours until Thomas makes his way back to the station. You run up to him, but he won't look at you, and you see tears still in his eyes. His beautiful, metallic eyes. I'm so sorry, you say, desperate to touch his face. I thought it was you, I swear. He finally looks at you, the sadness leaving his eyes. Really? He asks. Of course. You're the only train for me. Now this is where it takes a turn for the worst. <laughs> this is where it derails, if you will. He bites his lip, 
staring straight into your eyes. Prove it. <laughs> And you have every intention to. If you don't have those barf bags out, now is the time. You've been warned. You jam your lips against his, sticking your tongue in his mouth and licking the grime from his lips. You move your hand underneath him, running your fingers along his undercarriage. <sighs> you feel him release a stream of hot grease all over your hand. And it makes you kiss him harder. All over. <laughs> More grease trickles onto your feet, and you wiggle your bare toes in it, trying not to let a single drop go to waste. Steam starts shooting from his chimney as you work your hands underneath him again, putting your fingers to work until you hear the sound of his deafening whistle. You pull away, breathing hard, looking up into his eyes. Believe me now, you ask, panting with the desire to keep going. He smiles, licking your taste from his lips. Honey, he says breathlessly, you can choo-choo my train anytime you want. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was a doozy. I warned you though this one was <laughs> this one was something else. Woo! Yuck. <laughs> okay, you know. All these fanfics are so questionable, but who looks at Thomas the Tank Engine, which is a kid's cartoon character, and thinks, wow, that's hot. That's hot. I want to hit that. Who thinks that? Maybe they should be looked into. Maybe their hard drive needs to be checked a little bit. You know, just, just a little bit. <laughs> <Whew>. <laughs> okay, now that your torture is over, you're free to leave, you're free to go, and free to try and cleanse your mind of this filth. <laughs> Good luck with that. I'm gonna try my hardest myself. <laughs>